Welcome back. Now, in an environment where education is greatly needed, Business Bridge is a global initiative delivering quality, low-cost business education to those for whom access is otherwise denied by virtue of cost or lack of local provision. Joining us in our Cape Town studio for more on their operations in South Africa is Tom Perry, the CEO of Business Bridge. Tom, thank you so much for making the time to join us. Talk us through what differentiates uh, Business Bridge from other initiatives initiatives targeting entrepreneurs? So what we're really trying to do is take high quality business education and make it affordable and accessible to micro entrepreneurs. And by that we mean delivering education in the communities themselves rather than making the entrepreneurs leave their communities to come to enterprise development centers or to business schools. So we set up our courses in existing enterprise development centers or in the communities themselves so that we're really getting communities to work together. So business owners with, the similar, with similar aspirations from similar backgrounds, dealing with similar markets, coming together to learn from each other. Of course, Tom, we're aware that you've got quite interesting partners here. We've got the London Business School, you've got um, the World Bank. Talk us through how these partnerships have come about. Okay, so Business Bridge started in 2009. It was the brainchild of a professor at London Business School. Uh, we were then launched down here in South Africa uh, as a Section 21 in 2010. And we started running our courses, so taking experienced business people, so business school alumni, successful entrepreneurs, uh, people with corporate business backgrounds, training them to deliver our courses and getting them into townships and communities to help train up entrepreneurs. Now, one of the researchers at London Business School, a guy doing his PhD thesis, saw the model that we were operating. He was very interested in development economics and wanted to test an, this new model of entrepreneurship development. He wanted to see if you can train up an entrepreneur in order to get them to, to create jobs and to increase their revenues. So what he did was work with us over about two years to help us refine our model, to help us really include as many innovations as we possibly could, to make sure we learned from, from previous World Bank studies, um, previous research projects that had happened in the past. And he then got these major partners on board in terms of what well, he represents on the business school. He received funding from the World Bank and helped us to, to scale on that global scale. Um, on, on the ground here, we started working with a lot of local partners, so CEDA, for example, the business place, Zebra Education, and it's Business Bridge that's now starting to bring those organizations together underneath the banner of this research project run with London Business School and the World Bank. Tom, there's a very interesting concept that uh, one finds in your literature, and that is of transformational entrepreneurs. Talk us through what is a transformational uh, entrepreneur, and how does this fit in with your model? Okay, so a transformational entrepreneur to us is uh, it's really defined by aspiration. So we are looking to find entrepreneurs who have the desire to create a job. So it doesn't mean that they have necessarily a formal uh, education. They don't need to have a great business background, but they have to do, they, they, they have to want to grow. They have to want to see success in their business. So really, what we're doing is screening all of these entrepreneurs to get rid of what we call subsistence entrepreneurs, so that we put people in a room who have that desire to learn from each other, who have that desire to support each other to go forward and to grow. Um, so that's where one of the main things that differentiates us from a lot of other training courses out there is, is getting that demographic of entrepreneur uh, to, to really come together and work together. Tom, very quickly, of course, understanding that your operations are currently in South Africa, but you have your eye on other African yep. markets. Who is in your radar? Mm -hmm. So, as you said, South Africa is absolutely our prime focus at the moment. So we really want to, over the next 18, 18 to 24 months, to really scale up in South Africa, to launch uh, at scale in Johannesburg, Durban, in Cape Town, before we start looking at other African countries. At present, we've got con uh, contacts and connections, again, through London Business School, in Ghana, in um, in Botswana, in Namibia, uh, and we've, got, we've been talking to a few other, a few other locations. Uh, at present, though, it's still very much trying to get things off the ground here. We're waiting for the results from the World Bank study. So hopefully in February of next year, we should have that data, in, okay. that data set with us. And then we can really look to, to build, to grow in South Africa and to look at other countries. Tom, thank you so much for making the time to join us. Of course, that was Tom Perry, the CEO of Business Bridge. And for more information on this initiative, log on to their website at www.thebusinessbridge.org.